Blue Jays beat the Tigers today by a score of four to three here in Lakeland, Rod. And I guess the big takeaway from this game today, there were a couple. We'll start with Jordan Zimmerman, who was really good in his effort today, and that was good because the ERA coming into this game was north of ten. That's a great point, partner. And really going into the season, I mean, he's the one guy in that pitching staff that there were some concerns. I mean, he had injuries last year, and he struggled most of this spring, but he took some steps forward today to ease any pain or any thoughts of Brad and maybe Rich Doobie thinking he's not ready for the regular season. How about the first two at bats for Nick Castellanos this afternoon? I mean, we've talked about the fact that he's had a great spring, leads the team in RBIs, but those first two at bats were pretty good. He's already a very cocky kid, if you've yeah. ever been around Nick Castellanos, but this year, man, he is just maturing into being an everyday player, a guy that's going to make an all-star team, maybe hit 25, maybe even 30 home runs this year, I believe he's going to have the best year of a lot of our offensive players. And Mr. Tiger, Al Kaline, said as much as well when he visited us this afternoon. All right, now a couple of big keys were back in the Tigers lineup today. The WBC is over, and Miguel Cabrera comes back with an RBI single. Ian Kinsler also back in the lineup. Two guys just trying to get ready for opening day. Well, Ian Kinsler said he's already ready for opening day with what he did in the WBC because he played so many games. And, of course, Miguel Cabrera, he was born to hit. So it doesn't really matter where you are, what time of day it is. If you give Miggy that bat, he's going to hit. Our next telecast coming up on Wednesday against the Philadelphia Phillies are right here in Lakeland. But the final score here today, the Blue Jays win it over the Tigers 4-3.